Hey YouTube, on this episode of South Hawk Computing, we'll be looking at the Nexus Link by Comtrand, specifically the GPL2000P-Kit, and that's coming up next. <laughs> Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing, and today we're going to be looking at this Nexus Link GPL-2000PT-Kit that essentially allows you to pass Ethernet through your electrical system. This kit was nicely provided by our friends at Comtrand, and it is not a sponsored video. So without further ado, let's crack this guy open and see what we have inside. So this is pretty straightforward. Obviously we have the devices that we need on either end to pass the ethernet through. Closer inspection here, it does tell you that this has a 15 amp power draw limit. We have our lights here, obviously indicating for power, an established link, a secure link, and ethernet activity. On this side of the device, we have the ability to secure our connection on both ends, as well as a reset button. And at the bottom of the unit is where the ethernet jack is available at. So this looks really similar to when we had our coax to ethernet adapters, just this one's using a different medium, our electrical system. This is pretty interesting. I've never actually had a device like this before, and I'm very curious to see what the results are gonna look like. So let's get to it. Whoops, I almost forgot. I did not show the instructions that came with the device. And one of the key points here that you wanna know about this is this guy right here. You want to plug it in directly into your wall outlet. You don't want to be plugging in the GPL2000 into say a power strip or anything like that. You want it directly connected to your power grid. I also want to make sure that we're on two independent circuit breakers. So I don't want to try this on same circuit breaker because that seems like too easy of a test to perform. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so our first install location is downstairs here in the basement, which is right next to my router. And as you can see, it's all lighting up. And all I have to do is plug in Ethernet here directly into my router, which I will do next. Okay, that part's done. As you can see, we can see network traffic coming to this part of the device. Now let's go set up the other one upstairs. Okay, we have the device successfully installed upstairs. And as you can see, we have all green lights, specifically the second one from the bottom saying that we have a secured link. We have three green lights. All we need to do now is hook up the ethernet to this device. Okay, ethernet's plugged into our test machine right here. We got activity for ethernet and it's confirmed that it's working through here. So let's run our test again using our LAN speed test application and see what kind of results we get. Let's move on to the laptop. Okay, so again, as always, before we start the test, full disclosure, you know, results are going to vary. And that also depends on, you know, the type of quality of your power lines in your house, as well as the distance that you're traveling point to point. So take these results with a grain of salt. Here we go. So the results are in and we got a speed of 84 megs going out and 74 megs coming in. And if we take a look at the chart here, it was pretty consistent. Very little wavering on both. You never want your speeds to be fluctuating wildly. We had a clear and consistent speed on both uploading and downloading speeds. Alrighty, so the results are in and there you have it. So again, this is something that you would probably want to use for, for example, this end would connect directly to your router. This one here would connect to possibly your PlayStation, your Xbox, your Wi-Fi access point, or even if you wanted to connect the computer directly to your network versus using your Wi-Fi, which is shared bandwidth. And quite honestly, if you don't have a strong signal on your Wi-Fi, your speed is going to be greatly reduced. So it's just some of the things that you can use these devices for inside your home. Big thank you to Comtrend for providing this for testing here at the lab. As always, if you like what you see here, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel, join our forums. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Dan from Southhawk Computing, and as always, until the next time.